first we're removing this 32 millimeter nut i put a breaker bar with the lug nuts on like this and i put the socket on with a different breaker bar and i use the ground as kind of a stopping point with the lug nuts to be able to break it free because it's usually torqued pretty hard uh go ahead and take that off spin it all the way off um the bottom now is you take the cotter pin out of the lower ball joint um, and that is a 17 millimeter uh, castle nut and this car has 320,000 miles on it so there's a lot of rusted stuff first first to split the ball joint you can use the tool that didn't work for me then if you if that doesn't work you can screw the nut all the way up and use a hammer just make sure it's all the way if not use this fork which is what I had to use. It tears the boot on the ball joint, but if you can't get it off the other way, that's the only way to do it. There's a link in the description to buy this tool and a couple other ball joint separators. Um, but you see, you just hit this in with a hammer and it'll pop out right there. And this is a shameless plug for merch and shirts and a bunch of different uh, links down in the description where you can find some cool stuff. So check that out when you get a chance. Uh, next is the 17 millimeter nut and bolt that the strut or the strut bolts to the lower arm you just go ahead and loosen that and then you're gonna get the bolt out and then what i do is i stick a nut on the back and just kind of pop it with my hand and it'll pop out right there and then when that happens you can pick the whole brake assembly up and it should be able to slide the after you've removed that 32 millimeter it should be able to slide the uh axle all the way out of the front part uh, next you have to go right where it's into the transmission, kind of pry it out a little bit because there's an O-ring that keeps everything stuck in there or not an O-ring, a circlip that seats everything in there. So you kind of just pry at it a little bit to be able to break it free. And then you should be able to just yank it out once you've got it past that. There is oil that comes out here. So I would suggest to check oil levels. There's a video up in the top that shows you how to do all of that, fill all that. Um, next you push the lower arm down and you so push the lower arm down and then you slide the fork of the strut over so that it's off to the to the right and you'll see a video or see a portion a little later that shows a better angle of this and then you're able to slide the strut out like or the axle out like that uh see this is the different angle see i slide it over you see that the fork is over the lower arm um, if you do are moving the thing out, make sure you watch the brake line so you don't tear it. But you see how you fold that or push that to the side. Then you can take the axle and make sure that the, it's the right side that uh, has the little clip on the end that's going towards the transmission. You put it in the fork and then slide it back over the arm. Uh, next, you need to make sure that it goes into the transmission. You can see the little ring right there. Um, and if it doesn't go in all the way, you can get it close and you just bang it in with the rest of the axle. Now you get the front part of the axle in the hub and you might have to spin the hub just a little bit once you've actually got it in there just to make sure the splines line up. As you can see, I'm doing a little bit right there and then it slides in. And then I kind of hand tighten the nut on there just in case it doesn't slide out. Uh, then you push, wiggle that big long bolt back through. Sometimes it doesn't go perfectly straight, so you kind of have to feel it out and then tighten it back down. They're both 17s. Uh, next is putting the uh, ball joint uh, back through the lower arm. The uh, Sometimes what happens is when you put this castle nut on, it spins the ball joint itself, uh, so you have to kind of do some special tricks with it. Sometimes I just push down really hard and it works. This one, that didn't work. Uh, you see right here, I push down and try to tighten it, or almost. I'm just trying to tighten it right here, and it starts spinning the the joint in the middle. So then I try to push it down real hard like that to try to get to seat, and it doesn't seat very well. So what I then do is I take a jack, and then I jack the arm up so that the, basically the weight of the car is on it. And you can see as I'm jacking it up, that space between the ball joint and the lower arms gets smaller and smaller once I jack it up a little more and a little more and a little more. And then you just go ahead and tighten it all the way down and then make sure you replace the cotter pin uh, with a new cotter pin, which I didn't show that after I tightened it down. Next, you're putting the wheels back on the car, just like you normally would with the lug nuts and everything. 
But while it's still in the air, I would still suggest to look at the video above about filling up the transmission with oil. So what you're doing now is while the car is on the ground, you're torquing the uh, axle nut. Uh, I believe it's to 136 foot pounds. My car's rolling a little bit, so I'm trying to get it locked on. Uh, but after you've done it, got it torqued down, you need to punch the little side of the, the nut right into the axle so it doesn't slip at all. Uh, but outside of that, it's pretty simple. Uh, questions, please feel free to comment.